ancient tools and burials, plants and seeds, Neanderthals. All these things we make no apology for the study of archaeology. Hey everybody! We don't Happy New Year! No, we don't My cat's looking at me like I'm crazy. That's, you know, I'm talking to nothing. But, <laughs> Happy New Year, Happy 2020. I don't have my 2020 glasses yet, but as soon as I get them, I will totally do another video because it's obligatory. So, how's everyone doing in this wonderful new 2020 year? I will not say it is the beginning of a new decade because I am die on the hill, the decade begins at one kind of person. So, write me your hate mail. I don't care. I'm actually kind of amused by my own, like, stubbornness on that. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you will see all of the little jokes I've been publishing about it. I get it. I get it. It's like, the 20s were the 20s. And no, we're not living through the roaring 20s again, because God help us if we are. Does anybody study history? Anyone? Bueller? So, anyway... Welcome to 2020. This is the first Archie Fantasies video for the new year. Um, I attempted Vlogmas over the December month. It was interesting. I was more successful than I honestly thought I was going to end up being. So there's that. And yeah, I mean, I, I managed to get, I want to say 11 videos out. And I think I had a couple extras that never made it just because I just didn't get around to it. And so, I mean, I thoughtfully plotted 15 of them and I think I only got 11 up. But, you know, Cess Levi. And yes, I know that's wrong too. So, welcome to the Archie Fantasies video channel. And... I hope to improve on it this year. If you were following the Vlogmas, then you are aware that I have some rather ambitious goals for the 2020 season. Um, one of which, well, two of which will be uh, videoed. Videoed? Recorded? Recorded? Well, I mean, I'm going to record everything. Uh, but two of them are going to be archeo gaming um focused because i like geeking out and they sound like they'll be fairly relatively easy to do and one of them is we are going to play cyberpunk 2020 as archaeologists well i mean we're going to be archaeologists playing cyberpunk 2020 and then i have a couple friends who are not archaeologists they're just normal people who unfortunately got sucked into my um Experiment, So that'll actually be really fun because I'll have, like, people who know far too many fancy words to describe society and then, like, normal people. And it'll be interesting to see what the two groups will come up with when I interview them thoroughly about the game. My friends love me and this is proof of it. And the other thing that I am planning on doing this year, uh, for videos anyway, is... We're going to be doing, I have come up with a name for it. We're going to call it Geek Eats Cafe. And what we're going to do is explore game recipes, but not just like, yes, I'm going to cook them. And yes, I'm going to eat them. But I'm going to explore them as if I were uh, examining an actual real life culture. And I'm actually going to have some bleed over from real life into the game culture because a lot of the I put up a poll I asked you guys to vote everybody voted everybody who voted kind of went on a 50 50 split so out of the four there were two winners and the two winners were sims one through four which hooray that makes my life so much easier because I can cook almost all of those recipes in my actual kitchen um, and the other winner was Elder Scrolls uh, so we're gonna do Elder Scrolls Online because that's what I play and I think most of the recipes are bleed over from all of the Elder Scroll games anyway and I think Elder Scrolls Online has the most robust cooking system in it 
So I've got some ideas on how to get started with that. I have found a Elder Scrolls cookbook. Yes, I know the official cookbook exists. I love all of you. Thank you for everyone telling me about it. I appreciate it greatly. I also found a really nice uh, website that I think was called um, the Tamarel Inn. It's a Tumblr account. Uh, she's also gone through and done a lot of work with the recipes there. It might actually be the same person. I don't know. But yeah, so I, I found a lot of other people's interpretations of the recipes. And I've been game playing as well because I do actually play Elder Scrolls Online. I don't play it a lot and I'm not very good at it, which you will find out when I do some live streaming. I don't know if it'll be live live streaming, but I will definitely gameplay, and you guys can see how terrible I am at playing video games. And so my my twist on it's going to be, you know, examining the culture that the food is coming out of and um, trying to interpret the recipe that way. Because a lot of the cultures in especially Elder Scrolls are kind of based on real life uh, cultures and I think some of them are fairly obvious some of them may not be as obvious I mean Bretons and yeah so I'm, I'm gonna try to avoid creating a character of every race in the game but I might end up having to do that but right now like I upgraded to the Elderwise no that's not the name of it the Elderware yeah yeah yeah, yeah the Elderware um, upgrade because it was on sale. So I upgraded to that and now all of my characters um, start in the Kajat homelands, which is cool. I like the Kajat, but like I tried to create characters that were not Kajats. And I know I'm saying that wrong. I will find out how to pronounce that correctly. Anyway, my point is <laughs> all of my characters are starting in the same place, which is a little annoying because like the goal was to have different characters in different parts of Tamarel so that I could look at the food in different parts of the world. <laughs> and so now every time I start a character I gotta figure out how to get them to another starter zone where I can wander around safely and not get murdered while I'm examining food because I have no intention of like leveling most of these characters. Um, I have my two mains and that's pretty much it so I don't know the orc chick though I made an orc and I'm really kind of liking her so we might stick with her too so I might end up having three mains <sighs> games so yeah so those are things to look forward to um, me badly playing video games uh, me running a cyberpunk 2020 uh, tabletop game online there is a Discord attached. If you're very, very nice, I may share it with you. Maybe. Um, there is going to be the Geek Eats Cafe, where we will be looking at video game food. You'll get to meet my lovely partner, who actually knows how to cook, so take that, internet. And so those are the um, three new things that are going to be happening this year. And if you've been following my very sporadic videos, you will know that I occasionally put up videos about um, random topics that just kind of like catch my attention uh, that have to do with pseudo-archaeology. I am focusing more on um, paranormal archaeology right now just because like, I like the paranormal. So you'll probably see some videos pop up of that. Maybe some videos of me watching stuff, reacting to things, which again, reaction videos are something that I've been putting up here. I've been reacting to TV shows more than anything. Um, I did a reaction video to a mud fossil video and I don't want to put it up because I feel bad and maybe I'm gonna go do another one because I watched the mud fossil video completely cold. I didn't know what I was getting into and my reactions weren't like mean or anything but like I had no idea what was going on and his videos were very confusing for me <laughs> and so it's just like the whole video is just me going so I don't feel like that's a very entertaining video so I'm gonna go back and rewatch that so again more reaction videos on the channel uh, reacting to archaeology channels and pseudo archaeology and paranormal archaeology videos on the channel um 
yeah so that's 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 pretty much it so for videos anyway for videos i i have the gaming videos the food videos my normal reaction videos and my rambling videos like this one what podcast wise if you follow the podcast which we are in our fifth year um, I'm very proud of my podcast, even though you may not have that feeling, I don't know. I neglected my podcast last year, I will admit that, but in my defense, um, I was finishing up grad school, and yes, I still have a semester of grad school left because I extended my thesis because apparently that's what you do. And so, I do have one more semester finishing up just my thesis, thank God almighty. And, but that's, I don't feel like that's going to take up as much of my time as trying to pump out like two to three classes worth of content every freaking semester. And that's kind of what took the toll last year. We also had like a legal kerfluffle, which wasn't really a legal kerfluffle. And I now have a lawyer, so it was really weird. And I'm not really going to get into it because, like, I don't know how much I can actually get into it, but it was weird. But it's over now. The The other thing that happened last year was, if you follow the podcast, you know that I have two main co-hosts, or I had two main co-hosts, um, Ken Fader and Jeb Card. Uh, Dr. Fader and Dr. Card have both moved on to other projects, which we are very excited about here at Archie Fantasies, and when I say we, I mean the royal we. Um, Ken has had some significant life changes by adding people to his family. Congratulations. And Jeb has moved on to be doing another podcast called In Research Of, and he is doing that podcast with the main uh, host of Monster Talk, Blake Smith, and I will link that in the show notes because I actually think it's a really good podcast and I know they don't really need my um, promotion of their podcast because it's Blake Smith and Jeff Card, but you should totally go listen to it if you're not and there's a link in the show notes for you to go do that. <clears throat> I'm slowly dying of a very like slow moving cold. But so yeah, um, because of both of those uh, so because of both of those life-altering experiences, um, Jeb and Ken have both taken a step back from the podcast, which actually allows me to bring in other co-hosts to the podcast, and I'm really excited about that because I've got um, Jennifer Raff, who I've had on many times, who is my archaeo DNA specialist. Um, she's always fun to talk to, and I just adore her. Um, we're going to have Dr. David Anderson back on just talking about pop culture and archaeology because, like, that's what he does, and I'm always there for pop culture. And I also have a new person who pops on my show occasionally, and I'm hopefully going to, like, drag her into it more really interesting person you'll have to listen to the podcast to find out who she is because she has worked in tv actually she still does work in tv production and she is an archaeologist that works on shows like um she's an archaeologist who works on shows like ancient aliens and this most recent show that i have been watching which is un earthed and undiscovered or unresearched and unexplored I don't know it's basically America Unearthed Junior I'll be putting up reactions to that too because I'm not even a little bit impressed with that show but that's the show's fault and that is what's interesting about my new co-host because she's going to give us all the behind the scenes dirt I'm going to call her Mole X. Mole X. So, if you listen to the podcast, there's some fun stuff to look forward to. We're going to have regular episodes again, twice a month, just like last time it was coming out regularly. Uh, it's going to be the first and one, two, first and third Monday 
of every month. You can hold me to that because someone probably needs to. And so the podcast is going to start coming out regularly again. Hooray! And then, of course, there's the blogs. The blogs, um, I try to get something up once a week on the blogs, but they're not like my... Which I I am pretty good about, actually. It's easier to write a blog than anything else, my friends. I'm just putting that out there. Anyway, um, I do have three sub-blogs on top of the main blog, and that was mainly just because I was finding that these three topics in particular were taking up more space on the blog than I wanted to really give them on my main blog, which is archiefantasies.com or archaeologicalfantasies.com. You can find us either way. And... You know, the Archaeological Fantasies brand looks at uh, bad archaeology and pseudo-archaeology, and we debunk and educate. And, you know, when... So my my three subtopics are, um, there's a Giants blog, there's an Archaeology of Giants, um, there's the Archaeology of Ancient Aliens, or maybe it's just Alien Archaeology, ah, Alien Archaeology... And um, then there's, of course, the Paranormal Archaeology blog, which goes along with the Once a Month Paranormal Archaeology podcast, because I, I'm not sure how much time I will have to dedicate to the Paranormal Archaeology podcast. So we'll see. I can probably get one episode a month out, and that's, that's unfortunately what it's going to have to be right now. Um, but my, my three sub-blogs deal with, like, the three things that pop up the most when I'm doing research into pseudo-archaeology, and that's giants, aliens, and um, the supernatural. And the supernatural blog has a completely different feel to it because that one is actually very academic for me. I mean, I, I'm hoping that the wording is not too academic for everybody. I'm hoping everyone can read it, is my point. Um... The Giants and the Aliens is going to be the same kind of flavor as the regular Archaeological Fantasies blog because there's no such thing as Giants and there's no such thing as Ancient Aliens. Sorry if I ruined it for you. Um, but that those two topics do come up quite a bit. And I just don't want them constantly filling up the Archie Fantasies blog uh, where I do cover lots of other things like Transoceanic Travelers and Atlantis and yeah, we've done Bigfoot and, you know, other things that are going to come up. I'm, I've got uh, some books I've been reading that I, I want to address. And just in general, um, me talking about archaeology to the greater public. Um, So, so there you go. I have a very ambitious year ahead of me. Um, Thanks for sticking around and listening to my incredibly rambly welcome to 2020 video. And I hope you like and subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you really like me, you can go to Patreon and donate a little bit there. That would be amazing. Thank you. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We're going to buff up the videos, we're going to put the podcast back on track, and we're going to keep going with the blogs. So, there you have it. I hope you all enjoy. Come back, Extrapolating and Extrapolating from a single thanks. stone the extent of a whole complex, and then publishing it as a completely known fact, and making sure that everyone across the country knows about it because of a TV program makes us smile. But we don't do dinosaurs No, we don't do dinosaurs No, we don't do dinosaurs No, we don't do dinosaurs Raise your trials as one will call No, we don't do dinosaurs No, we don't do dinosaurs No, we don't do dinosaurs We don't do dinosaurs! See? Are you happy? Do you get it now? Do you get it? Honestly.